another solution to your problem could be a plugged uh, finger fuel filter. It's pretty normal for these to plug up really quickly. It's a very small mesh. Most of you probably don't even know you have a fuel filter in your generators. Um, most of the time I'll remove these completely and replace them with a uh, inline filter and I'll show you how to do that uh, a little later but first of all we're gonna show you how to either replace or remove this from the system totally in order to uh, make sure that it's uh, cleaned up and ready to go so first of all you're gonna take the four screws out of uh, your system here I already took out three so it's quicker and then inside here you're gonna have there's gonna be a zip tie in here that uh, is gonna make it really hard to pull this out of your way so you're gonna need to either remove the zip tie uh, clip by pinching these two together it'll be down here in this little hole area. Uh, that clip goes down in this hole right here. So you need to go underneath of the hole, pinch those uh, two clips together and pop this out uh, in order to get enough movement to get this metal plate out of the way. And then next you're going to remove these three screws, I already took two of them out. One of them has the ground cable. It's installed right there. So you need to make sure that you put the ground cable back on. It's there. So take your number 10 socket or driver or whatever you have. Remove those three screws. On up on the top, you just lift up this little uh, bumper to pull it out. Uh, you'll have a screw here, a screw here, and then there'll be two screws down below. Uh, one in this hole and one in this hole. Take those out, Phillips. Careful not to strip them. And then you can pull the whole thing down and out of your way. And inside you'll have a silver computer box. This is your your fuel fuel tank here and this is the outlet of your fuel tank and you're going to want to make sure that this is drained first or you're going to get fuel everywhere and what you do is just slide this hose off of the uh, fuel tank and I'm not going to do mine because it has fuel in it but uh, inside this uh, hard plastic part here where the fuel line goes over is this finger strainer. It goes right up into the fuel tank. So when you pull this out you'll see one of these come out with it. Now the only way to clean this, best way to clean it, is use some clean gasoline and swish it around in a pan of gas and then use uh, a toothbrush, your wives or your kids toothbrushes. Don't use yours because it'll taste bad later and uh, clean all of the crud off of this. Then you can stick it back in or throw it away, whatever you want to do. If you throw it away, you do have to put a fuel filter in. And again, I'll show you that in a second, but uh, now we'll go ahead and put this back together.
Okay, don't forget, put this wire back on. Third one. Now, I also took off down here. See that? Uh, there's a little plate right here. Uh, this wire, this little ground wire here, screwed onto that plate. They don't give you a lot of room. It doesn't pull out, so it was hard to get out. So when I go back on, I need to screw that up from the bottom and then put the clip back into the hole here where it came out just to hold everything in place. All right, if you decide you do want to replace your filter with an inline filter, uh, go ahead and take off your air box. And here's your fuel line here. Now you don't have a ton of room to work with. And this spot right here will probably be your best place to do this. Uh, you wanna cut the fuel line. Make sure you already have a fuel filter or you're gonna be down for a while. Well, you cut this line and then you take your filter and uh, just plug it right into your hose here and there and then you have a filter that is out here easy to get to easy to see if you have water or junk in it and easy to replace uh, your fuel filter inline fuel filter will have a one direction only it'll be printed on the filter make sure you put the arrow so it's facing the flow is going towards the carburetor if it's backwards then it's not going to filter anything Uh, most of those filters you can get at any uh, motorcycle store and uh, they have bigger ones that are maybe that big around and they have little tiny ones maybe big around as my finger that will be quite sufficient to do the job you're getting fuel and it's not leaking and then you have a fuel filter right here that you can see 
if it's contaminated. All right, one more thing that could cause the problems that everyone seems to be having is the spark arrestor is dirty. Inside the exhaust pipe here is a small screen that keeps uh, hot uh, sparks from flowing, blowing out of the generator and causing fires outside in the grass or in your house or whatever. But that gets plugged up with carbon and then the generator can't breathe properly and uh, it'll lose power, it'll shut off. So you need to clean that out and a lot of people overlook that. So we'll show you how to pull that out. First of all, you're gonna pull you know, your four screws that hold the uh, case on and get that out of the way. Pull your, off your muffler. Okay, notice I know for the, the two short ones I know. go up I here and the longer one was at the bottom. Long one, two short ones up here. Okay, so inside your muffler, uh, you're gonna have uh, a small screen that goes uh, right in here. That's your spark arrestor. My engine did not have one. Somebody took it out, so I can't show you it. But uh, it's maybe about this long. Uh, it's made of a metal screen, just like a window screen and you're gonna need to uh, clean that off just with a brush or whatever and uh, you can even use some of your carburetor cleaner and you need to make sure that that is clean uh, and the exhaust gases can move free, freely through that. And once you clean it, uh, just dig it back in and bolt it down to the engine. Uh, if you do decide to remove it, it's not recommended, especially if you're running your generator inside. Um, it's pretty normal for carbon to build up on the exhaust pipe and then a small chip of it will break off and usually it's on fire and it'll blow out your exhaust pipe and uh, it can catch stuff on fire. Uh, I've seen it catch grass on fire out of a uh, exhaust of a uh, dirt bike so this thing's probably not running as hot uh, or you're not probably not running it in tall grass but um, it's just recommended to keep it in there so make sure you clean it out and uh, then go ahead and put this bike together and make sure these are pretty tight you don't want the gas leaking out around here there's not really a gasket here um, and you want to uh, make sure that it's quieter like it's gonna get loud if it's coming out from your engine here so go ahead and put it on and tighten her down Back on. 